Our son was born uh, having had a stroke at about 15 to 20 weeks in utero. I remember thinking, I didn't know if I would be able to do this. My wife saw that he didn't use his left side and that there were some things that she just didn't think were normal. And at eight months, we had an MRI that showed that he, he did in fact have a right-sided parietal lobe uh, lesion. We started therapy, pretty aggressive therapy. They were seeing him three times a week. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the OT would see him. He saw a physical therapist once a week on Mondays. He saw another uh, different OT for pool therapy every other week, and we added the speech therapy later. We got him in down to Primary Children's Hospital. We saw neurologists down there, which then started physical therapy, occupational therapy, and started working on his motor skills to try and help him to function and to learn to use the left side of his body and to be able to compensate for what he couldn't do. I thought the, the more we did, the better off we would be. So we were very faithful. I, would, I, I went all the time. <laughs> my, I used to do lots of things with my friends, and I was off doing therapy with my little boy. Uh, the, the radiologist looked at the films at, before looking at my son and said that looking at the films, he sees a kid who is, has not been able to, to nurse, who is being fed by a tube, who has right-sided facial paralysis and left-sided body, arm and limb, you know, arm and foot paralysis. He said that he was a child that showed little response to stimulus. And then when we told him what his symptoms were like, he was encouraged by that because he luckily didn't have all those symptoms that somehow he had, had fixed some of the problems that were going on with his brain on his own. He was, showing, he was showing progress, but to me it was very frustrating because I just wanted him to be normal. I wanted him to be able to walk. And the frustrating thing was when I saw all of the other kids sitting up and, you know, crawling, and he wasn't crawling. He wasn't sitting up. So it was really frustrating, and I, but I just kept thinking, if I keep going to therapy and if I'm just really faithful, he'll get it. He started taking Empower Plus when he was about a year and a half old. He was a year in August and he started taking that in March. When he first started the supplement, he wasn't even supporting himself on either leg. He couldn't stand up. He, was, he could sit. Um, he wasn't crawling yet. Um, he couldn't stand up in the crib. He couldn't crawl up and down stairs. We were working on that through therapy but he wasn't able to do that on his own. And I remember that we were working on him being able to crawl upstairs and to, to try to, to crawl at all. And, the, and we saw the therapist, uh, we put him on the therapy like on a Thursday, and then we saw the therapists on a Monday, so three, three or four days later, and then he was on it for 10 days, and the following Monday, both his occupational and his physical therapists who don't work together uh, commented on that they what were we doing with him because he had we, they'd never seen him or any other child that they worked with make that much progress in such a short amount of time so they were sure we must have been doing something with him and we said well my sister actually just got married and so we've been doing that this week so we actually forgot to do therapy with him. We haven't really been doing a whole lot. They were very impressed. They said they've never seen anything like that. He was, he started standing up in his crib. And it's, that was the week that we put him on the, the supplement and we told them that and they were amazed at the progress that he made because he was able to, in a week's time, he went from not being able to do the stairs to a week later he was, was crawling up the stairs and he had three different times gone from the bottom of our stairs clear to the top of them and and we come in and, and we couldn't find him and he was upstairs. I think it was about eight weeks after he started taking the supplement that he was walking around furniture. They call it cruising in therapy. I didn't even know what cruising was but it's where they hold on to the furniture and, and they walk around the furniture. One of the most impressive things that we've seen is cognitively he has been ahead of both of our other children at that point in that with um, letter recognition and um, and in his his words and and things he's he's really come around with his words uh, 
so not compared to my other children, but compared to what we thought he would be doing. He's doing really, really well with his words. But as far as letter recognition, he can you can put a bunch of letters out in front of him and he's able to, to pick out letters if you ask him. He's able to pick them up and list them and then put them in another bucket. Um, so, so that's been really impressing. Uh, another thing is that my son started in baseball, uh, my eight-year-old, and so my, my youngest, Jace, who had the stroke, has been picking up the ball and actually throwing it. And one thing that the therapists have commented on is that uh, cross bilateral skill, meaning a right hand and a left foot, he has on his own, he's been able to pick up that skill to where he can pick up the ball and step back just like a pitcher would, lift his left leg and then throw the ball and, and he's very accurate with it. So that's one thing that's, that's another thing that's been impressive. And then the other thing the therapist said would be very difficult was jumping and he's been able to get on the trampoline, he crawls up on the trampoline and he's able to jump with both feet, which they said is a very difficult skill to master for children in general. He had been on the supplement for six months and then he started to walk on his own. He, he can run, jump, skip, hop. I can barely keep up with him.